What's up guys, it's Linda Says One here and today I have a review for you guys on this Hexagon Technology case. Uh, they did send this out for review so thank you very much to hexagontechnology.com or sorry, hexagontech.com for sending this out for review. I will put their link down below for you guys and we'll get right into this, cons, pros, and then the rest. Alright, so uh, this case gets scratched really easily but if it's not under the rec light, you can't really see it as I'll show you guys. You can't really see it, you know, on the case, which is nice. But two piece uh, slider case, but you know, the two pieces don't mold together really well. As you can see, a big gap between the two pieces right there. And so that's kind of annoying. And oh. Sorry, and then down here you might be limited to some jacks because the case is kind of close to the jack uh, plug-in as you can kind of see right there. Let me turn it this way. Mm, you really can't see that really well. Oh, right there. So it is super close to the jack. Um, and then the headphone or the volume buttons are really close to the you know the case right here and so some people might have trouble pushing it you know you got it got to work a little bit to push it because you know it's so close and tight fit right there you get half a chrome finish or half a chrome, chrome covering as you can see half the chrome right there and Hmm. This case is kind of hard to put together, you know, or take apart because of some technical difficulties, which I'll show you in a bit. But we'll talk about the pros first. You got lay on the table design, as you can see right there, which is pretty nice. This color is super vibrant. I really like it. There are other colors such as black, blue, red, just to name a few. And the finish is really nice. You got like a matte finish up here and a kind of rubbery feel down here. But overall it provides good grip. And um, probably not going to slip out of your hand. The power right here. Power and home button are super easy to push. This one's open. But up here it's super easy to push. Much easier than the volume buttons. And um, let's see what else. I think that's pretty much it for the pros. And one con I forgot to mention is right here. I'm trying to pick it up on the... I don't know if you can hear that, but there is a clicking noise. Because this side doesn't fit together very well. Not sure why that happens. So we'll take this apart and put it together. Just to show you guys the problem. Alright, so take this off. Really hard to do. You gotta work a bit. Under here is felt so you know protects some of your case, which is nice. So we'll slide the top in. And then here we have the bottom. You gotta work a bit to get this in. So if you just slide it in, you know, you'd expect it to fit in well, but it doesn't. Oh, you can kind of see the scratches right here. Yeah, right there you can see a whole bunch of scratches. But if I turn it this way, you can't see it. So, you know. Okay, so to get it in, you gotta... You know, push on this side down and push this side down. Oops. And I kind of messed it up, so I gotta start over. There we go. So you gotta work it in a bit to actually fit the cases together. And you can still see um, a big gap. And if you don't have the, uh, the case in on your iPod and just have it together, then there is no gap. So I'm not sure why that happens. But this has been the review of this Pexagon Tech case. And check them out, pexagontech.com. Link will be down below once again. And I'd like to thank them for sending this out for real. And I'll see you guys later.